So today we're going to create uh, interactive content using H5P again. And this time we're going to uh, try a different tool to sort of illustrate different examples and features that are available in H5P. So uh, we did one last time uh, around interactive video. This time we're going to continue uh, to build more different types of interactive content, and this time using specifically the timeline tool and resource. The timeline tool and resource is great because it is an interactive way to incorporate images as well as video uh, to illustrate a specific concept. Here I'm going to use the example again on the history of tea and create a timeline um, around tea that might be a great way to demonstrate what the history of tea is, where it came from, and what year it began, and the different varieties. So my first step would be, again, to go into my account, uh, create the content, and then it'll take me to this page where it'll, it'll ask me to create my interactive content. And then I'll type in the title here. And then next step would be to select uh, the content that I'm creating. And this is, I'll just type in timeline again. And then make sure I've selected the timeline. And now I want to follow the rest of the steps in order to complete the creation of this interactive content. So I'm going to give this a headline and say the history of tea in China. And then in the description main body, I'll say, well, an overview of the different teas in China. And this is just an example. You can kind of play around with it and kind of add different text depending on what you're teaching. Um, this is the default zoom level that's depending on whether you want to uh, allow uh, people to zoom in on the content. And let's just leave this blank and default to zero so that if you're not very sure about whether to zoom in or not, it's just best to use the default settings. And then if you think about whether you want to add a background image to your timeline, then you can click here and select an image. And here I'll look into my folder and select uh, an image. And just know the image has to be less than 16 megabytes. And then once that, you'll see the image is on there. And you can customize it if you want in terms of size and height. And then if you like to supplement the interactive content by linking to any videos, uh, Twitter, you know, other types of media, then you can click here and paste a YouTube link, Vimeo link, uh, whatever content, wherever it's hosted, or even SoundCloud. Uh, the idea is just to make it interactive and to make it engaging. And then here I want to credit uh, the video author. And so I'll here say thanks to Ted Ed uh, for this video. And I just say caption uh, T overview and history. And then now I can start to build the timeline in terms of dates. And I'll just say 1900 was when the teas first began introduced in China to maybe late 1940s. And this is just for fun. And then I can say uh, uh, this is the beginning of when tea was introduced. And I'll say uh, here to say this is when green tea was introduced. So the idea is that you can kind of walk through step by step to sort of add uh, context to your video and or image. And then I can give some categories, say this is about health and wellness and tea. And then if I want to add more uh, videos and or timelines, then I can say, well, uh, that 1900 to 1920 was green tea. Maybe then I want to say 1930 was when we introduced poor tea. And that was from 1930 to 1960. And I'll say here, introduction of poo per tea. And say a different type of tea is introduced. And then again, fill in the tags of tea, wellness, and health. And as I continue to build my time timeline, I can click on this uh, tab or button called add item and build upon my timeline. And then after all is done, I just click on save to save my page. And now the content um, has been created. And 
it looks great. And I can kind of click on this play button to preview it and uh, get a different feel for the timeline. And you see the text, uh, the dates are here, and then it is interactive and the, uh, the timeline continues to different dates um, that I've added in those fields. So I hope this is helpful and uh, leave a comment if you have questions about other content activities and types yeah. and resources in HP5. Thanks for watching.